Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to the Mini Gadget Collection. Think of this as a prequel to the Mega Gadget Collection that I'm hoping to launch again very, very soon. Now, if you're watching this on my Patreon page, thank you very much for your support. It really is appreciated. You're getting to see this as a bonus video around about a week before it goes onto my main YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, then please do check out the link to my Patreon campaign in the video description where you can show your support and help bring back the Mega Gadget Collection for everyone to enjoy. So I wanna show you the first gadget in this mini gadget collection, and this is either gonna go extremely well or horribly wrong. This is the Nano Quad from Revel. This was sent to me by The Foundry. You can check out a link to their website in the video description. And this is a mini quadcopter. And you can see it sitting just here. This is not my maiden flight, but it certainly is my maiden flight whilst recording. And I just know it's gonna crash, but here we go. So with this controller, we're gonna take this thing off. Three, two, one. And we're off, and it crashed. Let's try once more. I'm gonna try and bring it in front of the camera if I can. There it is, it's behind me, and it's crashed again. So <laughs> you can see it's very, very hard to control, especially when you're under the pressure of recording as well. But it is a great little device. It's got a rechargeable battery inside. They supply you with this little uh, USB cable for charging it. And I just want to retrieve it. Here we go. We've got it. So two of the propellers came off, but they come off really easily and you just sort of pop them back on. Let's just pop these back on. And I'm going to hold it very carefully in front of the camera and just show you it with the propellers going. So this is what it looks like. And then you can set those propellers going. You can see, and it's really got some power. And the thing that sort of differentiates this from other little mini sort of quadcopters is that apart from forwards and backwards, left and right, you can also rotate it with this uh, sort of left thumb stick on the controller. Really great fun. So if you're looking for a good quality quadcopter, check this one out. So the next product I wanna show you is over here. And because it's a mini gadget collection, it's a mini gadget. And this is what the packaging looks like. And this is the Heros Asynchronous USB 2 DAC with built-in headphone amplifier. And it comes presented in a little box and a little pouch, and it really is tiny. Now it supports PCM audio up to 352K resolution, and resolutions below that as well. And the idea behind this, look at how small it is. Very, very nicely designed. This is what it looks like. And it's just superbly engineered out of one sort of bit of sort of extruded aluminium. It's got a USB connector on one end, and then headphone jack on the other end. And the idea behind a product like this is you connect this to your Mac or PC, or if you've got a computer running Linux, then it works with Linux as well. And you connect it via USB, and then you connect your headphones into this section here, and it gives you better uncompressed audio. Now, I've been testing this for about two to three weeks now, and I've tested a lot of DACs and headphone amplifiers uh, over the past sort of few months. And this really does uh, far exceed my expectations because of the size of it. It's truly very, very small. And if you're using this with a pair of headphones that maybe cost between 50 and 150 pounds, and they're directly connected to your computer, and then you introduce this to your setup, you're really gonna get some absolutely superb audio. It really does bring the music to life. So I'll leave a link again to where you can check this out, but it is a very, very good product, it's not cheap, but if you're into your audio, this really does make a big, big difference. So let's move on to the next product. And this one here is from a company that I have reviewed many, many of their products over the years. And it's from a company called iAnchor. Um, I always just call them Anchor for some reason, but you can find them at iAnchor.com. Uh, this is the box, it's a USB 4 speaker. And this is what the speaker looks like, very, very compact. Uh, Bluetooth 4 connectivity on this. 
The actual speaker sort of lives, or the speaker grill lives on the top. We've got some rubberized section on the bottom of the speaker, and then controls on the front for volume and sort of connecting the device. And it's got a really good battery in it, between 15 and 20 hours of audio playback, and a four watt speaker in here. So very compact unit, and it's sort of got this rubberized feel to the finish on the outer sort of casing. Uh, I almost forgot, around the back there, there's a USB connector, so you can charge it, an on-off switch, and also an auxiliary in. So if you weren't connecting this via Bluetooth, if you didn't want to use it wirelessly, you can actually hardwire it in. So a very, very good little product. Audio quality, brilliant. Uh, the battery life quoted as 15 to 20 hours. Well, I got round about sort of eight to 10 hours before I had to recharge it. So I think your sort of experience might vary on battery life, but very, very good sound quality for such a compact unit. So let's move on. We've got one more product to show you, and I get asked about my lighting all the time. And I used to use very, very big lights. Um, they were from Interfit, and they used like nine bulbs in each light, very heavy. And I recently upgraded my lighting to these. This is the Aperture AL528S. It's an LED light. Comes with these sort of diffuser panels on the front, which you can remove. And it also comes with different mounting points. You can mount it either in portrait or landscape. If I turn it round, you can see here it's got two uh, sort of receptors here, or two connectors here for batteries. So you can run it off of rechargeable batteries. And it's also got an on-off switch. It's also got a connector for a power supply, which I'm gonna plug in in a minute. And it's also got a rotating knob and a display on it as well. Display is just here. And you rotate this knob to make the light either brighter or dimmer. Now there are three models of this. There's one that's got a, a C on the end, which is like a color uh, temperature version. So you can change the color temperature. There's also the S version, which is this one, which directs a more direct beam. So sort of the S stands for, I would say, spotlight. So it really has a more directional light. And then there's one that ends with W, an AL528W, and that casts a wider dispersed light. Now I went for the S because it's more intensified and it gives a brighter illumination. I hope this doesn't blind you, but here we go. Let's turn this on. And we are currently on 10% brightness. I'm just gonna pull this round so you can see that display on the back. So there it says 10% of brightness. Um, and there's also a battery meter as well, which shows it obviously 100% because I'm running it off of um, mains power at the moment. But if you were running off battery, it would tell you how much battery power you got left. And then you can turn this and it shows you the percentage of light that you're using. And as you turn it up, let me just turn this round, it goes brighter or dimmer. And you can see what effect that has on me. So this is at the lowest. And then, ah, oh, that's at the brightest, but you wouldn't normally have it that close to the subject. But it really does a brilliant job of lighting up your subject. Now I can't give you a proper sort of um, uh, demonstration of this because I would normally make adjustments to the camera as well, but this is absolutely superb. It's very, very lightweight and it works brilliantly. Highly recommended, so light. Oh, and it comes with a case as well. You also get a lighting stand so that you can actually attach it to a light stand and a case to carry everything in as well. Absolutely brilliant, the Aperture AL. 528s so that's it for the mini gadget collection i hope you've enjoyed it i really enjoy doing this sort of video and it's this sort of video that makes me really want to bring back the mega gadget collection because it gets such a great response every single time so thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please do share a link to it share a link to my patreon campaign if you're watching it on youtube hit the like button and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.